Hi, my name is Kane, and I'm a 21-year-old 3D concept artist working in the games and entertainment industry. For years, I've been optimizing my workflow, trying to find the perfect tools for hard surface concept design. Like many, I grew frustrated with the ones available. None of the traditionally used tools gave me the freedom I wanted to create the designs I had in my head. They all seemed to subtract from my creativity instead of enabling it. Once I discovered the power of sculpting softwares for hard surface design, I knew that the constraints I had come to accept would be no more, and the possibilities were endless. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through a three-part series on how I use Dynamesh to achieve hard surface results in ZBrush. In part one, I'll give you a complete walkthrough of all the tools, the logic behind them, as well as show you examples of how I'd use them in my process. In part two, I'll break down my previous BBL radio design piece by piece and show you in real time exactly how I went about constructing the model in Dynamesh. Then in part three, you can watch it all come together in a three hour time lapse where I make the BBS radio from start to finish, interspersed with talks about software, my design process, and keeping your mesh clean for renders. I've also added additional content, including a time lapse of me making a mounted flashlight, a PDF covering my most used tools, and the original ZTL files for the radio, plus a starter file with image planes set up, so if you want to make the radio yourself, you can. The methods we use in Dynamesh are extremely simple to understand and can be learned in less than a few hours. In this tutorial, I'll teach you the tools, show you how to use them, then produce a finished model using the tools you now have in your toolbox.